Hey, I'm Brock from Northwest Florida. I grew up here, conservative Christian, the whole deal. Grew up during the Clinton era. I was in the talk radio every day. You know, hearing about character matters. Leadership matters. You know, and I believed it. And so, you know, come 2016, I'm looking at Trump and I'm just thinking, am I missing something? Like, everybody just went along with it. I felt like I was taking crazy pills saying, this isn't it. This isn't anything like what I grew up believing. It wasn't about, you know, whether or not I believed in the ideals of conservatism or whatever. So, you know, it was a hard decision, but I couldn't look at myself and vote for that guy. Hell, I couldn't look at my kids and say, this guy is who I feel represents me. I don't let my kids behave like this man, and I'm going to put him in charge of being the example to the entire world of what we are. It was just beyond the pale. So I voted for a Democrat, and it was not easy. I mean, I never voted for anything but a Republican. Like, you could be, like, city water manager. If you had a Republican by your name, I'm voting for you. But I couldn't do it. I voted for a Democrat in 2016, and in 2020, it is not going to be hard. I'm voting for Biden, and I'm going to feel good about it. Look, Trump is a poison to conservatism. The real belief in conservative ideals. He is withering it away. It's, it's incredible. And so whatever transactional benefit you think you're going to get out of keeping that guy in power because he's got an R by his name is, I hesitate to say delusional because I know what it feels like. But you know what? You got to be loyal to your ideals. Don't be loyal to some party.